Father, my name is Christian Roberts, the youth pastor of the Christian Tabernacle Baptist Church in Hamden, Connecticut, and I'd like to welcome you to the Christian Corner. I hope everyone is happy, having a happy Thanksgiving, and today we have something very special for you. As our annual treat here is on the Christian Corner, every Thanksgiving I do a top five video. And this year, as chosen by you, our top five video will be my top five animated movies of all time. So, let's jump into it. Alright, let's get something straight. Anyone who knows me at all or has watched messages on this channel for a period of time is aware of how much I love the Toy Story franchise. I could literally spend an entire sermon series talking about how amazing Toy Story is and why it's the best film franchise ever created by far. However, to avoid being redundant and filling four of the five spots with the four amazing Toy Story films, I'm just going to state up front that Toy Story collectively is the best and be done with it. However, just to really get this out the way, let me rank the Toy Story movies from worst to best as follows, or best to worst, I mean. Toy Story 3 is my favorite, and it's the best movie of all time. End of discussion. Toy Story 4 is second. It is very, very underrated. If you have not watched Toy Story 4, please, please do so. You will be glad you did. Toy Story 2 is next. You may have forgotten this one. It may have got lost in the shuffle. It's amazing. Check it out. And the original Toy Story is last, even though I still love that one as well. And it's the funniest one. That being said, let's take a look at a few honorable mentions. Huh? Ohana means family. Family means nobody, nobody gets, gets left, left behind or or forgotten. I know. Go, Kiara, together. This is the plan. Are you crazy? I have eyes that can see right through lead. You're I horrible. Granted, you have talent. <laughs> He stole the Statue of Liberty! The small one from Las Vegas. And I won't even mention the Eiffel Tower! Also Vegas. Hey, that's my food! Get off my roof! Yeah, get off of his roof! And call for an appointment, man. It's gonna be a while. Ah, I was afraid of this. Go ahead and sit down. Oh, oh my lord, you gotta wait, son. This is an emergency. What? That ain't cool, Dad. You'd always let Harold cut your hair. His chair's wide open. Nah, I, I, I can wait. Put that thing back where it came from, or so help me. Oh, hey, we're rehearsing uh, a scene for the upcoming company play called uh, Put That Thing Back Where It Came From, or so help me. <laughs> This was one of my absolute favorite movies to watch growing up. Mostly because I was so entranced by the different monsters, the monster world, and the entire story taking place. This is one movie that works from every aspect that you would look for. It's one of the funniest animated movies of all time. The characters are enjoyable and interesting, and it has a lot of endearing and charming elements. Monsters, Inc. also has an amazing twist that makes the film go from awesome to iconic. This movie is just excellent all the way around, to be honest. The characters, the musical score, the song during the end credits and opening credits, the story, the feelings, the intensity, the comedy, the touching ending, everything about this film still amazes me even today. Also, Monsters University, the prequel to this movie, is really underrated. It has a powerful message, and watching it before this film will make Monsters, Inc. even better. So throw them on back to back, but Monsters, Inc. is the OG. Oh, where are you from? Who cares? I can't go back. Ah, oh, you're an outcast. That's great. So are we. What'd you do, kid? Something terrible, but I don't want to talk about it. Good. We don't want to hear about it. There's really not much that I can say about The Lion King that hasn't already been said. This movie is a classic, so I probably don't have to convince you that it belongs on this list. 
Everything about this movie just feels epic from the characters to the music and the feeling of triumph that comes at the ending. This movie will make anyone, whether a child or adult, feel straight up emotion. It is a great, great movie, only held back from a higher spot because the story gets a little bit messy towards the middle. If for some reason you have not seen The Lion King yet, get on it immediately. You'll be glad that you did. Surround us now! I've never done one that big Violet, before! Violet, do it now! Abort, abort, abort! Abort, abort, abort! Now this is an animated film. Even though it's only number three on my list, I will say that this is exactly what an animated movie should be. An entertaining yet nuanced movie that you can enjoy at two different points in life. As a kid, you can watch The Incredibles and be captivated by the action, the characters, and the fact that this is the best superhero film of all time. Don't at me. However, you can come back to this movie as an adult and you will realize that The Incredibles is really dark when you dig beneath the surface. The last thing that makes this movie phenomenal is that it has the best reveal of any animated movie by far. The moment when it all comes full circle and you see how the movie has unfolded, you are gonna be shook. The only bad thing that I can say about The Incredibles is that it was followed up by a very lame sequel, but we won't even talk about that. Ahem. With a nice pass over the reef, comes across... Ugh, he's making that stupid face again. I could strangle him right now! Uh-oh, she's looking at us. Uh, what did she say? What when it comes to Inside Out, there is one simple reason why it ranks so high on this list. Quite simply, Inside Out has the most powerful and important message of any animated movie, and maybe any movie in general. I won't get too deep into why what this movie has to say is so important because of spoilers, but I can say that this movie should literally be shown in schools. That's how much it has to teach both adults and children. That being said, Inside Out has a lot more than just a great message. The movie is absolutely hilarious and it manages to actually be pretty unpredictable. I would be willing to bet that most people who watch this movie the first time around won't see the conclusion coming, which can't be said in most movies, especially animated. This movie is just a must watch. In fact, stop what you're doing right now and watch it if you haven't. Actually, not yet. We still have to get to number one. I feel like I'm really making a difference. Wait a second. Holy crimes, Bonnie. Look at that. Oh, my sweet heaven. Judy, are you a meter maid? Oh, this. No. Oh, no. No. This is just a temporary thing. Oh, it's the safest job on the force. Oh, she's not a real cop. Our prayers have been answered. Glorious day. Yes, Zootopia is my favorite non-Toy Story animated film of all time. Like Inside Out, Zootopia has a really valuable message that we can all benefit from. However, Zootopia ranks just a bit higher than Inside Out for one big reason. Detail. In a lot of movies, especially animated movies that are mainly aimed at younger audiences, the movie has a few loose ends that appear. There are usually some things that don't quite click story-wise when you really think about it. There are villains who do stuff that just doesn't make sense in the big picture. There are things that we are shown that contradict other information in the movie. However, this is not the case with Zootopia at all. This film is airtight. It has so many small details and subtle moments that really resonate and drive the story. When you watch this film 
Please put your phone away and really pay attention. And what really caps this off really well, what makes Utopia so powerful, is that the main moment, the biggest moment in the movie, is not a feel-good one. If I had to nitpick Zootopia, I would say that something that takes place in the last 10 or 15 minutes of the film could have been handled better. However, even with that, this film is absolutely phenomenal. I highly recommend this movie as well as the others. I hope that you've enjoyed this year's top five and that everyone watching has or has had a wonderful Thanksgiving. God bless. I give you my all. I'm giving you all of me, all of me.